princess. Princess! What happened to her? What happened to my daughter? God! God! My king. What is wrong with her? My king, I don't know. I was only many doors you started. Run! Get my car keys! Okay. On the dining table! Fast! Princess, please wake up. Please, please. It's me, your father. Huh? Please. How is my daughter? Oh, she's fine. We are very lucky, man. We almost lost her. But we thank God she's alive. I don't think I would have forgiven myself if anything had happened to my only child. It's okay. Everything is fine now. Can I see her now? Sure. Actually, I came to pick you. Let's go and see her. Thank the gods. Where is Okechuko? Hey, Adam, thank the gods. You are all right. Relax, just relax. Oh, Okechuko, please call him. Uh, I'm here for you. Eh? I'm here with you. I'll be here with you. All you need is relax. All you need now is to rest. Eh? Well, I know you're here, but I need to see Okechuko at once. Please. And um, by tomorrow, he will be here. I heard that he has been discharged from the hospital, so I'll send them to bring him here Father, tomorrow. I can't wait till tomorrow. I want him to come now. Okay, I'll, I'll send somebody. Somebody will go and call him. Just relax first. Please Father, rest. I need to see him before I relax. Please, now. Okay, okay. I'll call him now. I'll call him. Let me call him. Huh? Let me call him. Don't worry. I'll call him. I get I understand. I know. You're worried. Okay, but just calm down. If you could just sit down and hear me out. It will be nice. Calm down. No. I am not worried. I am angry. Yes. And um, um, what do you want to tell me? That prank was too expensive. I mean, what were you trying to get at? I know. Okay, I just said that to be sure the pregnancy was mine. I, I, I know. He just wanted to be sure. Do you know that you would have actually lost your mother in the process? What excuse would you have given? I mean, you would have carried me along. You would have told me I am your friend. I'm sorry, man. Forgive me. Uh, I didn't even know it was going to work that fast. I... You don't know? Now, let me ask you this question. What if the people involved got hurt? Oh no, I, I knew no one was going to get hurt. I, I had things under control. Obviously, you had things under control. <laughs> you always have things under control. You had things under control on that hospital bed where you laid, pretending to be sick. Hello? Princess. What? Hospital. Okay. All right. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Hospital? Yeah, the princess is at the hospital. Oh, God. The hospital again. I, I, let me drop you. I'm not trying to talk you out of your condition, but I wanted to respect the verdict of the cake. But there is no verdict that can stand between Okechuku okay, and the love I have for him. The king wants you to recover first before you start talking about him now. But there is nothing wrong with me. I am fine as in 100% fine. The thought that I may end up not having Okechuku okay, was my problem and will always be my problem. He is the only one I want to see now. Okay, calm down. I'm here. I'm here now. Okay. Okay, relax. Okay. 
relax. I'm here. I'm here. I promise, I promise never to leave your side again, but I'm here. Just calm down. Oh my goodness. Sorry, sorry. I love you so much. I love you. I love you so much. Please stay with me. For as long as you want, baby, because I love you too. I don't want you to leave my sight ever again, please. I would not. I would not. Just relax. You'll be fine. Okay, I'm here. I'm so glad I'm oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. Come on, come on rest. Rest. Oh. I'm happy to be here with you. Mm. Okay? Mm. I promise you. Mm. With my whole heart. Whatever it is you want, I'll do for you. Okay? Mm. You want me to spend the night? Oh, um. Yes, I want you to. I want you to be by my side always. Of course I will. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. Uh, that's my friend. His name is Nidu. Yes. My princess, I hope you're getting better. Yes. Well, my name is Nidu. Oh. And look, Ejiko here has been my friend right from primary school days. I'm happy. Um, my name is Priscilla. To be here. Oh. It's a pleasure. Mine too. <laughs> You have not heard. Your love is a hero. I've always known him to be a hero. Mm. So what happened? He, he caught Chief Izuna and saw very charm in Mrs. Suzongo's compound. Chidekebe, are you serious? As I'm talking to you right now, he has been arrested. And they are in the palace. Huh. Oh, this is not good. But that Seriously. serves him right. At least he should pay for his evil deeds. Exactly. Yeah, Chalokwa. I saw keep you one at my house this morning. I'm going to sweep your father's compound. Also, um, Cassiano, can you brief us again about what you told me on my way coming back from Ugume, where I want to deliver a war hanger? I saw someone tiptoeing towards Mrs. Onzokwa's gate. I decided to follow the person. Then I found out it's Chief here. So I decided to follow him. Only for me to see him digging a hole at the gate to bury a charm. Yeah, what? I knew it all along that it was you. You are so wicked. You killed my husband. And I said that is not enough. You poisoned my son. Why are you so evil? What did we ever do to you? Chief Isnaso, since last night that you were brought in here, till now that I decided to hold this open interaction with you, I have made some inquiries. And I found out that you are the one who detailed Mamaoka to poison them. And since it did not work your way, you killed her. Oh yes, I, I don't know the people who are lying against me. They are lying against me. The authority who spoke to me did not lie against you. He does not lie. But if you decide to discredit him, I will leave you at his mercy and let's see who the gods of this land will visit. You said that this is going to be an interaction. But we all know it is not. You simply organized this to humiliate me. Says who? Says the one who was caught bearing a charm. Says the one who ran at confrontation in order to hide his crime. Says the one who was arrested last night by those who came out. Chief Iznaso, your ultimate plan is to hijack the throne of Amanato. But you see Okechukwu as your great obstacle. But I never ever told anyone in Amanato that I am interested in the throne. 
So why seek to destroy me and my family? Why? Chief Isuda, so you are a very wicked man. You killed my husband, poisoned my son, and you also killed my best friend. Ah! You don't deserve to live. The only thing that is good for you is death, and you will die a shameful death. Wicked man. The seer of Amanato was the one who made the revelations. Are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying you are not the one who poisoned Okechuku? Are you saying you are not the one who killed Mamoka? Are you saying you were not planning to kill me and hijack the throne of Amanato? I need you to speak. I don't understand. Are you not going to welcome me in? What do you not understand? Why must it be my place? Can't you go somewhere else? Anne, do you realize you're talking to me in this manner? What has come over you? Of course I realize I'm talking to you. Of all places to go, why must it be mine? What part of leave my house do you not understand? Anne. Can I at least stay here? I do not have anywhere to go. The one they call Obwe Fibialele has sealed my father's compound with tender palm fronds. You know what that means? It means your family has been ostracized from Amanato because of the actions of your father. Oh, you know me too well. You know I do not support my father. Please, let me stay. I don't know about that. All I know is you've been so wicked to a man who loves you so much. To the point where you almost impose another man's pregnancy on him. And that's wicked of you. Please, Anne. You shouldn't be the one saying no this to me. You're my friend. We've been friends for so long now and I value our friendship. Ozium, I need to come out straight on this. Based on the status your family has assumed in Amanato, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with you. Please, I suggest you see yourself out. I want to thank you, especially for what you did for us. I want to thank you for helping us. You see, a lot of people in your position would have accepted the offer from Chief Izuna saw, but you chose to stay back. You stayed back and you spoke the truth without even expecting a reward. That's quite shocking. <laughs> and you know, that got me talking with the governor and he told me that for your kindness, he would reward you with a job at the government house. Me? Yes. Yes, you. You. <laughs> you are a decent citizen of this world. How I wish most people are like you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to thank you. <laughs> it's okay. You deserve it. You saved our lives. So, we owe you a whole lot. I'm really grateful for this. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, we should be the ones grateful for your kindness. I mean, we, we should be doing more for you. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and I also want to take this time to say that, look, you are now a member of this family. Yes. Okay, feel free to stop by. Whatever it is that you want, you, you're free to come here. If there's anything at all, anything at all you feel that we can do for you here, do not hesitate to speak up. Okay? That's how for me. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. I appreciate You know what? Uh, let me get you something. Please, can I have a word with you? 
You mean me? Yes, you. Please, I would like to have a word with you. Well, no. You cannot have a word with me. Why? I'm sorry for all that happened. Please give me the opportunity to let you know how I feel about you. No. This is not happening. <gasps> Neka, wait! Neka, wait! Neka, please don't go! Neka, I love you so much. What do I do? Neka! Why is she running away? Neka, wait! Suspense. Please, what happened? <laughs> he spoke to me. You mean Cassie spoke to you? Yes. He actually apologized and told me about his feelings for me. How did you behave? Hope you did not form my hand. Trust me on that. I told him no, that I don't want to talk to him. I know he will come after me. You did well, my friend. <laughs> don't let him feel you cannot live without him. Trust me. I will make him come begging. Yes, I will not make it easy for him at all. But don't overdo it. You know too much of everything is bad. Just know when to stop. No problem. But for now, it's on a low level. I am so happy my dream is coming true. I can't wait to have him to myself. Biko, it's okay. Before you go and ruin everything, let's just hope he comes back. He will. I'm so sorry for all the pains that I've caused you. I'm sincerely sorry. I don't know why you decided to be saying all this. The truth is that I've always loved you. Just don't know if you will accept me. That was why I kept it to myself. And I was never trying to take advantage of your friend or anything. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Please. This is more like a dream come true. I love you too, Cassie. I have been waiting for so long to tell you. I love you so much, Ineka. I will never leave your side. Thank you so much, Cassie. She just brought joy into my life. I should be the one thanking you. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm really grateful. I am. I knew it would come to this. I love you so much, Cassie. Thanks so much for loving me right back. I should be the one thanking you. You tolerated me. You waited. I love you so much. Come. There's something that I would love to show you. Come. Honestly, I used to like this guy. But considering what he has done, I mean the extent he went just to prove a point, I feel you should avoid a man like that. Well, I may need to redirect you for you're already missing the point. He was not out to prove any point. He was out to establish the truth. You and I were there. We saw how everything worked out. Have you bothered asking yourself if you finally end up with this man as his wife, the things he'll be doing just to establish the truth? What are you saying? Well, on the contrary, I like him because of what he did. He's a very decisive man. He's a man who can go all out for what he wants. He's not very good in delegating responsibilities, but he can come out and do things by himself. He is a real man. I mean, he has the traits of a king. 
And to tell you the truth, if I happen to want to get married tomorrow, he's the kind of man I would like to be married to. But you cannot marry him. For your father does not like what he did. I interacted with your father and he saw him as a man who can risk the life of his wife just to prove a point. Your father will never allow you to die before him and he will never give you out to a man like that. Priscilla, we have actually talked about this before but I'm going to say it one more time. If you love my father so much that you're very comfortable discussing things with him, why don't you tell me? I can actually ask him to marry you. I beg your pardon? No, you cannot beg for my pardon, for you already know what I'm talking about. What I say to you as a friend means absolutely nothing to you. But what my father says to you means everything to you. And you have concluded it has to do with anything. Priscilla. I like you a lot. I like you a lot as a friend. And that is the reason I do not want to have issues with you. I mean, if not for one thing, you are a very intelligent person. Let us remain good friends. I never knew Cassia is this romantic. I mean, he has everything I've ever wanted in a man. He even carried me up and I felt on top of the world. I'm so happy for you, my friend. Look at how happy you are. I wish I were you. I can't wait to have my own man. Calm down, baby girl. Your own man will locate you. I hope so. There is this man I've been crushing on. Maybe I'll just talk to him. Maybe to work. Who knows? It appears as if the princess has opened a new chapter in Amanato mm. for babes. Summering courage to approach their dream men, telling them exactly how they feel about them. Mm, it still sounds crazy to me, but then there is nothing wrong in a woman expressing her feelings. I'm just hoping the princess succeeds in her own. I mean, it will be a new dawn in Amanato. There is no need hoping. It will not work. Why will you say that? The king has refused to accept his daughter to be with him. And you know what that means. Without the king's approval, they cannot be together. <sighs> Ainia. Yes? I help you? Yes. There is something I've been wanting to tell you for a while now. Okay, go on. I have been wanting to tell you that I love you so much. I, I really love you and I would like us to be together. What did you just say? I said that I love you and I would like us to be together. You love me? Yes, with all my heart. Now you go about telling men how much you love them. Oh, if anyone, you are not serious. You are shameless. How can a maiden of Amanato be doing this? I did nothing wrong. I only spoke up. That is not enough reason for you to insult me. I really love you more than words can describe. And it will be a pleasure to spend the rest of my life with you. The problem is, you are a woman. You should have respect for yourself, not telling men how you love them. How does this even sound in your ears? It means you are still a man, wired than stone ages. And there is nothing I can do for someone like you. If anyone, is that supposed to be an insult? It is just a statement of facts. That you just missed a golden opportunity of having a woman who is ready to give up everything for you. 
It is just a statement of facts that you just missed the golden opportunity of having a woman who is ready to give up everything for you. Does it appear that I have made a huge mistake? <laughs> Thank you. My brother, I am so excited for you. Thank you. I am exceedingly happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nah, now nah, I was remaining, you don't see him now. Yes, yeah, so now you remain now. Now you know I'm married now. No, we are the woman now. What are you talking about? You're not ready. You are ready, you'll find the women. Wait, uh, because you are lucky to find the good woman. So you feel it's just that simple. Finding the wife material is just so easy. Calm down. If you want a woman, you find a woman. There are women. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I hope you still remember the words of late Professor Jeno Achebe that says, those whose palm kernels were cracked for them by a benevolent spirit should not forget to be humble. Are you saying I'm not humble? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I'm humble. <laughs> you see, you were on your own and then a benevolent spirit brought you the best. So allow us that are not as lucky as you to find ours in peace. And we will definitely find. Okay, no bother. At this juncture, I, I give up. It's fine. When you're ready to find a wife, I am positive that you'll find a good woman. The best, actually. One that will make you happy. Anyway, enough of me. Let's talk about you. Oh, yeah. When is the celebration taking place? Ah, uh, you know that... Um, Marrying royalty follows a process, so um, my marriage of the princess would follow a process. The Iwe Eze Oyekone told us that uh, we should be a bit patient for the land of Amanato, first and foremost, would have to be cleansed of the atrocities committed by Izunaso. Mm. After all of that is done, I can pick a date for the marriage. And I agree with him. Anyway, it's okay. Mine is that at least there should be haste up. You know. Else. Uh, <laughs> I might. Uh, I just might. Do what? Mine might be settled before you. Look at this man. <laughs> Coming from someone who has not even found a wife. I mean. Back away. <laughs> a minute can't change. I mean? Uh -huh. No matter what happens, you should open up to me. I am your friend and we confide in one another. How oh, I wish I can reverse the hands of time. What happened? It didn't go well or what? That was the worst day of my life. That guy gave me the insult of my life. Like, I felt the ground should just open and swallow me. I left some strong statements. But that was just to cover up my shame. The fact that it worked for the princess doesn't mean it to work for every other person. Cassie! Oh I have missed you so much! I've missed you too. You're so heavy now. <laughs> oh, you're looking good. Thank you. Uh, where have you been? I went to your workshop and you were not there. Yeah, I finally got a job in the government house, so I located. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. Wow, that's so nice. See how good you look. Thank God. Is that your friend? Oh, forgive my manners. Uh, that's Nedu, my boss. Nedu, meet my fiancé. And her friend, if anyone. It is good to finally meet both of you. Great to themselves. And I have heard so much about you both. It's my pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Please, let's go have a seat. Did you notice anything? Like what? 
The way the Nedu guy was looking at you, I can say he was checking you out. It's bad luck for him. I am not looking for a man that will be checking me out. I'm looking for a man that will come with the ring. Are you already concluding he cannot come with the ring? Come on, if you want. Cheer up. That guy got consumed by your personality and he was admiring you all through the period. Did you hear Cassie calling him boss? That guy is already a boss in the government house and I'm sure he has babes he has been grooving. And you feel those babes are better than you. Don't give me that if you want. That guy was admiring you all through the period and I feel something is running through his head. I beg, stop putting ideas in my head. But I think I'm liking him. <laughs> but I'm not allowing these feelings to grow because I'll only get hot. Mm -mm. Well, let's keep the hope alive. We will see what will happen. <laughs> I'm just happy for you and Cassie. Very soon, he will come and pay your bride price and take you to his new place in Oka. <laughs> And I am certain you will find a better man, my friend. <laughs> wow. And please, and please don't treat me like this. Look at my condition and you will agree that I need help. Please. But babe, I know you need help. I know, but based on what has happened, I cannot welcome you into my house. Please. Oh, why? Why are you saying this to me? What do you want me to do? Where do I even go to? <sighs> Look, please, please. The best I can do for you is help you with some money. But as for accepting you into my house, it's that's going to be difficult for me. I can't. Please. I, and I would suggest you Go to the palace and apologize. I'm sure they can let you back into your father's compound, right? Your father was the criminal, not you. Please, please don't um, cry now. Can you at least come with me? Please. Please. Why are you dragging me into this? I'm already violating the rules by talking to someone whose family has been ostracized. If you find it difficult to approach the king, you can remain in your mother's house. I'm sure they won't chase you away. Ozioma. We have been looking for you. Me? Of course. Okichuko has been looking for me. After what my father did to him. You see, that's all in the past now. I mean, it's not your fault that your father did what he did. I am certain Okichuko forgave you already. I am ashamed of myself. I feel, I feel sorry for him for all I did to him. He really do not deserve all that. Like I said, he holds no grudge against you. Notwithstanding, I still think that it is a wise choice if you can go to him. I mean, talk to him just to clear your conscience. If not for any reason, at least for the sake of your Unborn child, Ozioma. Go to him. I really want to, but I am scared. I don't know what might happen. And child whose father has been jailed? No. A child whose mother is going to raise to be not just a responsible citizen of this country, but of the world at large. Listen, I know you have learned your lessons already. But do not allow this sorrow to drag for the sake of your child. Please, 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 please don't do this to me. Please listen to me. 
I am listening. Neka, please. Look, I, I messed up. I realized I was a fool. I've been trying to walk my way back into her heart, but she has refused to give me a chance. Why would she give you a chance? Neka. You had her heart, but you broke it. Neka, that's why I came to you. Please. I know you are her best friend and she listened to you. Please, can you help me talk to her, please? I want to fix things with her. Too late. What do you mean by too late? Someone from the government house proposed to her. No, that's not true. It's what not you, true. What do you mean by that is not true? It's not true, Neka, it's not true. I mean someone from the government house proposed to her and she accepted. She is already wearing his ring. So much I want to say, but I don't even know where to start from. If I can actually have a glimmer of whatever it is you want to say, I can help us bring it out. You know, when God created you, he created one of a kind. A masterpiece. He created my missing piece. I have come to realize, my princess, that indeed you are my missing piece and I've come to ask that you stop missing and make me complete. Honestly, you speak in riddles and you confuse me. I have come to ask that you agree to be my wife. And make me the happiest man in the world because I know you can. Will you marry me? This. <laughs> there is. This is something I've, I've always wanted for you. To be a happy man and enjoy the love and the peace marriage has to offer. Thank you so much for finally doing this. Yes, I'll marry you. From the depth of my heart, I will marry you. And yes, I love you. I love you more. Come here. Onyeze, I understand the reason you are doing all this. But are you not going to take a pause? Try to recall the wonderful moments we spent together as friends. It is time for you to call the chief priest to order. Let him understand that he has no right whatsoever to seal my house the way they have just done. And then it's being reported right now that I am no longer, my name is no longer listed along the list of chiefs of Amanato. And you are still here? Okoma is Unaso. It is actually high chief. Okoma is Unaso, sir. You are no longer a chief in Amanato. You are not even a low chief before you start talking of high. Our chief tensi cannot be bestowed on a murderer. But I was already a high chief in this kingdom, even before the said crime got committed. And based on the heinous crime you committed, the chief tensi has been withdrawn and you will be going to jail. Hey, that is where I want you to come in. Look at the man that is standing before you. I am a man who have achieved a very significant status in this kingdom. There is no way somebody like me will be going to prison and you know it. And the ones you brutally ended their lives were people with promises. You kill them so that you remain relevant in politics. But I'm telling you here as the king of Amanato that you have come to an end. What? Do you think you can destroy a man like me? I did not destroy you, 
Okoma de Zunaso. You destroyed yourself. And I am pleading with you here to lower this weapon that you may live to see another day. You are the one who will not even live to see tomorrow. If you fail to do exactly what I want you to do right now, you are going to issue a statement, a royal statement that is stating that the chief priest has no right under whatever law in Amanato to seal my house the way he has done. Are you ready to do that? Isuna so. You are pointing a gun at the king of Amanato right in his palace where the forces that keep the palace are looking. Isuna so. Lower this weapon and you will live to see another. Listen to me. You have just the count of ten. To do exactly what I have just told you to do, or I am going to blow you into pieces. And let me tell you, nothing will happen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Gas! Your Highness. Remove this thing from my presence. And send a message to the town union president. This fool must be buried today with our casket. Okay, Your Highness. His Royal Highness is a Onye Konye. Konye. Of Amanato. I humble myself your presence today with my mother to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Eze, I make this request today with a strong conviction that God started this process and that with your permission that God will conclude this process. That is my son. The real definition of the son of the soil. Hey! Nabo! 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 <laughs> I have heard you. I will now call out the lady to come here and speak her mind because she's the one that has the final say. Call the princess. Okay, Chuku, you are indeed a blessing to this kingdom. I pray this union works because it will trigger a lot of things in this kingdom. Give him a peck before me. That tells me something. But that will not prevent me from proceeding with the edged protocol. This young man brought a lot of items required for marriage declaration in Amanato. That is to say, he's asking for your hand in marriage. Should we go ahead and accept those items, or do we ask him to go? and come back next time. He is the best I have seen. The only one I see as a husband. The one I went for knowing full well that there is nothing wrong in a woman pursuing her dreams, no matter how big they are. Therefore, Father, accept whatever it is they came with. I will marry him. And upon that acceptance, Okechuku, I accept you to be my son-in-law. 
the traditional marriage will be a day after tomorrow. Igwe! <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Highness. It is well with you, Master. Choice. 